vintage t-shirt Time to everyone your top hat Telling me I'm all that Just like the girl from your hometown Sweet bonnet and a stranded See if I can stand it Drinking in the shallow water Magnetic everything about you You really got me now Hello YouTube, hello are you wonderful people So today I'm coming at you with a story time On some drama that happened at school I just need somebody to talk to because you know I got fake people showing fake love Cause you know they fake fake And the only other person I've talked to is my mom So I want to talk to you guys about it So let's begin this story time So 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 so, hi you guys, this is my like fifth time doing this. I'm coming at you guys with a story time today that like stresses me out. I've been waiting forever to tell you guys about this. So, our story begins with our main character, Paco and Susan. So, Paco and Susan have like a really rocky relationship, always arguing, fussing, and fighting on. So, paradise and it's a war zone, God. Like, like, it's a wrestling match, like, God. Um, so, Paco and Susan, you know, finally end up breaking up, like, the Big Bang Theory. Like, phew, they finally realize they're not right for each other. And um, about three weeks goes by, Paco starts talking to Cheddar, Susan's friend. Well, all of our friends. So, Susan gets... I mean, Susan has no recollection at that moment. So, Paco and Cheddar... Well, Cheddar... I mean, Paco gains feelings for Cheddar, right? And Cheddar doesn't feel the same because, you know, she's like your road dog girl who knows the girl code. That you never date your friends. Uh, you know, ex... Because, you know, I may bring up bad feelings. So, she says no. And then Cheddar tells Susan about what happened, you know, being a big, bold, beautiful woman that she is. Like, I applaud her on that. Like, most people are fake and will never tell you that and, like, be behind your back. Like, I applaud her for that. Like, that's a real woman. Like, being confronting a woman and tell her what happened and tell her that you said no and you did. Like, that is woman. I give her major props. So, Susan decides not to act like a woman and gets upset with all of our friends, because I guess they knew. I didn't know because, you know, I ain't with the drama. I ain't with that at all. I'm not, I'm just not with the drama at all with how they act. So, I digress. So, the story continues. Um, After Cheddar told Susan, she goes on a tangent and starts to attack all of our friends because they didn't tell her which i feel like it wasn't their business to tell her because you know that's not their business that's not their situation the girl i mean cheddar was you know woman enough to tell you herself and that was her situation her business so i don't understand why she got upset with them but you know again i digress um so, two days passed by, right? And all of a sudden, everyone's miserable because she's texting everyone to my son. Everyone's keeping secrets from her, making Instagram posts, saying mood, everybody keeping stuff from me, uh, being grumpy and moody for no reason. And she kind of peed me off because I hate that fake... Everybody kind of peeped me off because they was talking about her behind her back. And I'm pretty sure she was saying stuff about them, saying they were fake and all this. And I keep it real 127 all the time. If I don't like you, I'm going to tell you to your face. And that's rare that I don't like. You have to irritate me and nitpick at me. I'm nice to everyone. And if I have a problem with you or you've done something I don't like, I'm going to come to you about it before I come to anybody else about it. Um, But I continue. So, she, everyone's miserable because, um, because she's, like, upset with everyone. She's upset with the whole world. She's so upset. Susan is, like, livid. She's going on a tangent. She's, like, so upset at everyone because they didn't tell her. So, I'm with my best friend, my road dog, my sister, to my sister, my BFL, um, 
Let's call her Sunshine. I'm with my BFF, Sunshine. And today, she's upset. And she's, like, my rock. My person that I always expect to be strong for me. Because I'm not always mentally there. So, I asked Sunshine. I'm like, are you okay? What's wrong? She was like, Susan is doing way too much. And blaming me and everyone else. Because no one told her. And I was like, okay, and then I, like, take it in, and I'm like, okay, yeah, because she has been, because Susan has been acting crazy because no one told her. I mean, someone did tell her. That's the whole part I don't get. And the person who was directly involved told her. So, then, wait, yeah, so next, everybody's at the table, everyone's talking about how they're upset, and I'm like, why won't y'all just tell her this to her face? And be honest with her. Don't be mean, but be honest and tell how you feel about the situation and tell that you don't like how this and that is going on and just be done with the situation and stop being passive aggressive and mean to each other. Like, if I have a prop, if you got a problem with somebody, address it directly. It probably won't always pan out like you'd like it to, but it's the best way to whip off, rip off a wound. You don't want to keep it going on, like, all year, and you lose your best friend because of something that's, like, petty. So, I had enough of it, because we were all depressed because of the junk that was happening. Um, and, you know, people make depressing Instagram posts that just depress you and just ruining my day. So, I finally decided to, you know, I told all of them, okay, I'm about to tell her. You guys need to stop being passive aggressive. So, I tell them that I'm tired of everyone talking behind each other's back. And everyone's like, you know, that's the point when everyone's like, oh, we're not talking behind her back. Who said all this to her face? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure no one said this to her face because no one has the guts to be mean when it's time to be mean. You know, no one has the guts to be mean when it's time to be mean. So... I mean, not when it's time to be mean, when it's time to be brutally honest. Like, 100% no BS, brutally honest. So, I was like, okay, well, since nobody wants to be honest, I guess I'll have to be the mean one, the honest one. At least, I don't care if you think I'm mean to anything, at least in the end you could say I was honest with you. Because, you know, I'm going to be real with you. I have no reason to lie to you. We're not that close. I don't care about your opinion that much. We're still friends, but your opinion doesn't matter to me because you don't affect my personal life. So, it's the end of the day. She's walking home. She has a stank attitude. Susan has the real stank attitude right now. And she's dragging Paco. She's dragging Paco like, blah, like they're still together. And holding on to him, being upset with Paco. And I pulled Susan to the side, and I was like, hey, Susan, what you're, not, what you're doing is not cool. You're depressing everyone. You're depressing Sunshine and everyone else. You're depressing Cheddar and everyone else. Because what you're doing is not okay. And then she said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, trying to shut me up. I'm like, I don't want you to say sorry to me. You didn't affect me. I'm just saying, what you're doing is not okay. I don't care about a sorry. I just want to inform you that what you're doing is, like, not okay and it's hurting everyone. So, my head, like, it's floating. Um, I, I just wanted to inform you that what you're doing is not okay. I don't care about your sorry. I just want to get my piece out and be done and we don't got to speak. If you don't like me afterwards, I don't care. So, I'm like, Susan, what you're doing is not okay. Like, you don't understand. You broke up with him so how are you upset that he's talking to someone else and then she comes with all the excuses and all this and that and i'm like i didn't ask for an excuse i know i act like an adult and i'm not the most responsible but i know how to be professional when it's time to be professional i was like that's not what we're talking about you're making everyone miserable because of something that doesn't even matter like i was like we don't even need to be worried about this school is more important why are we even worried about a boy that you used to date? Now he dating somebody else. Now you got to be depressed for a whole week. Miss your heart work for a whole week. See, even though I don't get the best grades, I value school. And no boy, nor girl, 
No drama is about to get in my way of that. That's why I'm 100% blunt honest. Because drama is not my thing. And drama, it shouldn't be anyone's thing. Because being blunt honest, a lot of people say it's not good, but it will get you far. It will get rid of the fake friends who lie to you and, you know, act like everything's okay until they're until you're gone and they can talk trash about you behind your back. I'm sorry. My parent is brutally honest with me. And that's taught me to be brutally honest with everyone. I know it may hurt, but in turn, they're trying to help you. So, she, Susan ends up storming off and getting mad at me. And I was like, okay, I, I really don't care. So, you being upset doesn't matter to me. And Paco, which never smiles because Susan depresses Paco. And, like, mentally abuses Paco. Um, he's smiling. And I'm like, why are you smiling? And he was like, nothing. And I knew it was because someone finally got the guts to stand up to, like, her. Or call her on her BS. And tell her she's wrong. What she's doing is wrong. You know what I mean? Like, when someone... My parent tells me it's always time, all the time. That type of person who don't think they ass stink at all. When you call them on the S and they be upset with you, but you put them in a place. Like, I had to kind of put her in a place. I'm not saying I'm no better than anyone. I'm not any better than anyone. But, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures and do what you got to do. So the moral of the story is don't be fake. That's it. <laughs> I'll just let. Um, so, the moral of the story is, you don't need no relationship. You in school. I'm worried about my education. Why you don't think I don't got no baby? I don't care about you. I don't care about your kisses. I don't care about your gifts. I care about my grades. I care about getting a good grade in school. I care about graduating, starting my life. Then I can worry about that. But nah, I don't need no baby. Mm-mm. I may go shopping sometimes with, like, friends, but I don't need no bae. Forever single. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, I don't need no bae. School is more and way more important. Like, I mean, if I had a, a bae and no education, where we gonna go? Get minimum wage jobs and live in a trashy apartment? No. I love lavish things. I love treating myself. I love being able to say, oh, you did it. You did it for yourself. Not for them. You did it for yourself. You got your own. This is yours. Can't nobody call it theirs. You ain't got to share with nobody. You ain't got to depend on nobody to pay the other half of the rent. It's mine. It's mine. But anyway, that concludes my story. I love you guys, and I will see you later. And I'm going to be posting more frequently because the drama and the tea at my school is real. It's real. Like, these kids, for real, for real. And I will do a story time soon on the time I got into a fight. I will be getting footage of it, but I will not be able to use real names due to legal conditions. You know, you know how that, you know how that go. I was running through the six with my, well, was, okay, let's stop. Um, but yeah, I love you guys, and I will see you later. Remember slate and have a good day and you know what my mom watches these videos and my dad oh, I love you I'll see you guys later and goodbye